Hey, what's going on, everybody? I don't know if I'm going to pay for this or not. I mean, I've, I have already paid for the experience so far. And uh, first of all, before I start showing you this other 55 Nomad, I want to say sorry for the wind. Uh, and I know a lot of people skim through. They just want to see the picture. So the ones that skim through will have to suffer for the wind without my apologies. Um, I showed you the, the Nomad that I had gotten last week. And a lot of people said try to save it. A lot of people said uh, it's ready for the crusher. But I'm getting ready to show you something right now that uh, I'm surprised I was able to get it off the trailer. They had a big forklift that was able to lift it up, but I don't. I got my hook truck and I got a bobcat. Uh, so we really had to work on it. It took me maybe about 25 minutes just to get it off the trailer without it just just breaking in half. And it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, this one I'm gonna tell you right now. There's no, there's no hope for this car. This is just strictly a, a parts car. So, once again, sorry for the wind, and I know I'll probably pay for this, uh, but let's go check this car out here. Uh, I took the right hand door off of the other Nomad to uh, try to make it somewhat more rigid when we lifted it up but i want to show you the one that you guys was killing me on at first so this is the one and notice the roof on the body it's rusty but notice how it kind of still looks like a car so this is the one you guys killed me for and we can definitely see that it's it's uh it needs a lot of help but it's still hanging together somehow it still looks like a nomad so i'm a little bit nervous guys once again sorry about the wind we'll look at this one for a minute this still looks like a car but this other nomad that we're about to see here in one second it's a sad sad sight and I'll do more videos on this car throughout the week when the wind calms down but I'm just here right now and I don't want to uh, keep you guys waiting too long so without further ado feast your eyes on that puppy what do you guys think new frame floor pans it'd be ready to roll I put this this uh, block back here to because I want to get them I beams out of underneath of it. But I mean, you can see the frame is just it's just falling down with it. And uh, let's see what the inside of a tailgate looks like. But this piece right here, I know, I know it looks rough right now, but if you hit it with the SOS pad, it will clean up somewhat decent. And uh, I know, guys, I know it's it's not show quality, but I don't come from a world of show quality. I'm going to contact Dan and see if, if he wants to trade me his broken one for this one. And I'll show you. I mean, it's it'll, it'll clean up quite a bit, but like some of the pit, pitting down here, you just have to live with that. Uh, sorry, my... Sweatpants are rolling underneath the bottom of my boots. I've been working so hard But like I said, I mean it's It's complete And you can see it's a little bent at the top uh, And maybe Dan maybe Dan won't want it, but I know his is broken and They're hard to find but the shipping is going to be a an animal so It's got the glass for what it's worth but you can clearly see all the fogging on it but it's got it's got the trim and these out of all the trim these are one of the hardest things to come up with and they're real tricky to get off and it's got the trim up here and these are these ones right here are somewhat hard to come by uh, but 
the wind's kind of calmed down for a minute i'll try to back up this color on this is called cashmere blue this was a this was a late production 55 nomad to be that cashmere blue with the white top and you can see altered wheelbase i mean everything is just it's just coming apart guys but you know it's got this trim this piece right here you know no big deal but see what how many miles it had on it 80,191 but I mean just look at the destruction on this thing I mean my goodness that's not even attached no more um, and you could see the you can see the big eye beams look how rusty and pitted they are they've been under there forever and here's the leaf spring it's totally come on loose but I mean just look at how twisted and just look there's your window channels you can see right through them. it's got the headliner bows and stuff and like that little access panel that one and then this one right here, that one kind of got tweaked a little bit getting it off the trailer, but them are kind of hard to come by. But once again, um, see that lift gate is, I know it is nothing special guys, but it is a, it's not broken. And then we'll see, see what happens on that. Cause I would trade, I would trade Dan, but we just have to work out the, the shipping if he wants it i mean he might want to try to find a nicer one for his car but because i if he doesn't want it i'm gonna put that one on the back of the other uh nomad but i mean i mean you could just look everything just there's nothing holding nothing no more in here it's a shame but this this car you know it's it's probably been sitting i'd say probably closer to the amount of age that this car is than than years it probably only drove for 10 years and got parked and i'll strip all the uh yeah i knew that wasn't gonna pull out i'll strip all the uh trim off of it everybody wants it you know real nice for their show cars but you take this and clean it up as best you can and, and you just live with it for certain cars but the steering wheel itself is really cool and it turns, uh, the other one's froze up. And this is the door off the other car. But you see what I did? I latched it uh, to help hold the body together. And I just, I wasn't able to, uh, I mean, look at the pittage. Look how pitted everything is. But it's still got the 55, look, it, it turns on like you're about to hear the, the Nationals play. It was probably a pretty sweet car when it was new, but this car's toast, guys. <laughs> Shut that on. I don't want no one breaking into it. But it does have a really nice drip rail over here. This piece is real nice. Uh, and like I said, it's got some window trim. Uh, the roof is flat out wasted. I mean, I'm surprised it even made the trip back home. I mean, look, you can see right in it. Uh, and while we're talking about roofs, who wants to take a pixie? Who wants to take a pixie in there? Let's see if I can, yeah, without cutting my fingers open. Look, you want to talk about rusty? That skin is just sitting on there. You ever seen anything like that? And it probably was connected a little bit right through there. But I'm telling you guys, this thing was bent so bad trying to get it, trying to lift it up to get it off of that trailer without damaging the trailer. The front fenders could probably be capped and saved. I'll probably set that nose on the other one. Uh, here comes that daggone wind again. But I mean... When was the last time you saw a 55 Nomad like this? I know we hate it, but this is part of life. 
and it's got some things like that little linkage rod right there and uh, like I said I'll steal the gearbox out of it here's the original capillary tube for your sending unit and like that little ground I'll, I'll keep that ground and and believe me I know you guys are like thinking like why keep that stuff it's just little trinkets it's just little trinkets that I might need and surprisingly enough it's got some pits here and there but this top bar of the core support is nice the bottom one will need a little bit of welding but the top I'll I'll, I'll grind them off I'll, I'll keep that top bar uh, probably throw that grill in the sedan for right now but unfortunately guys if there's something you see on this car that you need uh, send me a message because uh, this car is going down I can't I can't just leave it sit here like this see and this is the side that I always saw when I went to look at the car which it's not great but it's not it's not terrible uh, and once again that fender's that fender's decent if you put a cap on it but this is it this is the one I was dreading showing you guys I mean, look at look at the frame and everything back there Swiss cheese everywhere so I'll probably pull the glass out of it uh, and then just whack whack the roof off I'll keep this I know it's terrible and super pitted but somebody might need just like the smallest section where they're they're willing to work with it a little bit uh, and it's got more more of the trim I think I pulled both of these off uh, you know you can't really see back there but it's got see that chrome at the end of that window and this one's got the chrome at the end of that window which you know you need them little pieces too if you're if you're fixing up a nomad that don't have much look at this car that car's ready to that, that car's ready to put plates on it compared to this one that's too bad but uh this was the second one um that went with the other one guys look you can even see the glass that whole window everything's kind of bowing in and believe me I mean I I tried and tried and tried to get that car off without it literally just breaking in half you can see I had the chain just on this side and then I had both of them both of the I-beams hooked up in the front uh, just trying to I mean it was literally just trying to break in half and I was lifting it up on the I beams. I wasn't, I wasn't even touching the body. But when, you know, it sat on the I beams so long. Once you get to jumping around, going down the freeway, everything just kind of starts giving out. So you guys can mark it up on the list. Here's a cashmere blue '55 that pretty soon will not be around. Let's see, and I need them hinges too for the other one. You can see how they connect right there four Phillips head screws on each side Man, that thing is heavy but now you guys understand when I when you seen that other one the one that I put the craggers on where I was thinking yeah that one might have a chance this one right here there's no chance it's it's a flat-out parts car whatever can be saved off of it so my days of buying these type of cars are going to be on hold for a little while while I process through this stuff. I got to go get some oxygen and settle in and start the surgery on that other one. But this one right here, tell me how good that one looks now, guys. Uh, look at the roof on this one. I think everything will be all right. That's why I said when I buy a Nomad, it starts with the roof bad roof no dice see if I can get back all the way where you can see them all all right guys our weather here in Ohio is once again changed and it's uh probably feels like 20 degrees outside right now it's kind of been blowing around flurries and 
it's freezing cold so I'll edit this video up and I'll I'll wait for the roast to begin because I know it's coming thanks for stopping by Don's Hot Rod Garage I'll catch you guys on the next video